Hello, Chandler with Skill Above, RVTesters.com, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about our newest release, which is our hall sensor board. It is a solderless replacement board for Schwintec motors. This will work on your bed lift motors, your TV lift motors, and your Schwintec slide out motors. And what it is, is it is a board that plugs directly in and replaces the factory board that may have the wires that get ripped out or the wires that get cut or just the board has failed in general. So our motor is still good, our gearbox is good, but we have a board issue. We have a replacement part for that for a fraction of the cost of a brand new motor. So today what I want to do is I want to unpack our starter kit so that you guys can see the contents and we're going to show how to do the replacement on these two motors. So we have these two motors set aside um, and we need to replace both sensor boards on them so that we can get this unit back up and going. So to start, let's open up the starter kit. This is the way your starter kit will come in. So we get in here, open that box up. Now what we're gonna see is our starter kit's gonna come inside this uh, this coffee container. The reason for that is for shipping purposes so that it does not get destroyed. Plus you get a cool drink cup. We open up the cup and inside the cup, we're gonna find a pair of close cut side cutters. We're gonna need those. We have a wrapper here and inside here, we have two hall sensor boards. Now we're gonna have the starter kit where it can come with one or two of these boards. And then we're going to have just these boards alone so that you can purchase them in quantities up to four at a time without the extra stuff. Also inside that cup is going to be a screwdriver. The screwdriver is going to be so that we can pop the cover off of the Swintec motor. So we're gonna reach in here and we're just going to gently pop the cover up. We can get the cover off. And then when we get the cover off, we wanna look at the, the motor. And on this motor, there's a red dot. I'm gonna come up close to the camera so that you can see that red dot. That red dot is important. Our hall sensor board also has a red dot on it, right here. So what that means is when we put this all together here in just a minute, the red dot is gonna be over the red dot. So we have our red dot right there and our new board is gonna have a red dot right over it, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna cut these terminals right on the edge of the board. And so I'm gonna get up close so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. We're getting up close as we can to the board. And we cut once. Cut twice. Now the board is free. Now it is time for us to remove the magnet. So we can come in here with that same little pry tool screwdriver and just pop the magnet up. Just note which side was up. Usually it is noted with a marker right across the top. Take that off. We remove the old board. And then what we're going to do, find our red dot. See our red dot. And we're going to plug the spade connectors in on the top of the motor. We have to pop them in place. You're gonna hear them kind of snap. Just 
one. And there's two. We've also got these foam insulators right here. This keeps the board from rocking around. Once we get the board put on, then we need to reinstall our magnet. We're going to push the magnet down to where it's about level with the tops of the sensors on the board. We're gonna spin the motor, make sure that there's no nothing rubbing. Once that happens, and we are ready to snap the cover on and reinstall the motor. So now this motor is ready to go. Let's do another motor. And pop the cover up. I'm gonna find our red dot right there. Get as close to the board as we can. Remove our magnet. Remove our old board that is not working. Identify our red dot. Identify our red dot. If you mix this up and you put the red dot on the other side, what's going to happen is the motor is going to run the wrong direction. So if you're using this on a slide out and you tell it to go out, one side's going to go out and the other side's going to come in. So we snap it down into place. Just one side. You're going to feel it click. Again, we have the foam pads to keep everything nice and stable. Once that's done, we reinstall the magnet. We make sure nothing is rubbing. Then we reinstall the cover. And this motor is ready to reinstall back into the RV.